Howdy everybody. Desert Horizons AZ Off-Grid Unplugged RV Ranch. Uh, just showing you charge controller. This is after at least 10 days of clouds. Um, that's what my battery bank is down to. 12 and a half. The only thing running right now is the refrigerator. Um, it's about 2 o'clock in the afternoon. So when it's been cloudy like this, I have like a, I don't run the big refrigerator, and I mean the, the big TV. Sorry, I don't run the big TV, but and I also don't run the electric hot plate. But other than that, everything else has been running just like always. Um, and I see. Well, I put the small TV on and uh, lights. The refrigerator, like I said, it's been running. I have that on a timer. It goes for about 12 hours a day, but. Yeah, as you can see, it's cloudy. This is southern Arizona. This is monsoon season. About 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Um, or actually, this morning, Ruger. Hey, Ruger. Ruger. I gave Ruger the, the clippers, the hair clippers. And this is what he did. <laughs> I had no idea if you could see this or not. But he gave me a haircut. <laughs> Hopefully you were able to see that. I, I couldn't tell. So, yeah, that, that's uh, his kind of a haircut for me. For the last time my hair was this short, I was in single di digits of age. So, um, yeah, like I said, the, the clouds have been like this for, you know, today's fr Friday. And they've been like this a week ago Sunday. They moved in. Uh, a couple of those days were actually 86 and 87 degrees for the high in July in southern Arizona. Um, but then like this morning when the sun comes up and the humidity starts rising, it's like, God, how can how can people who live in this all summer long stand it? It's like, ugh. Just, yeah, couldn't, I just felt so, and, and the humidity was only about 70%. <laughs> And it just felt so bad, so muggy and yuck. Like I said, I, I grew up in Minnesota where it used to be 90% was average. So, now I'll take the weather here anytime. Ruger loves it too. Hey, Ruger. But all rain we've been getting around here, been getting a lot of rain for the last, you know, 10 days, however many days. Um, I dug this little ditch in. I had the guy dig this little ditch in here to stop the water from pooling up over there where I'm going to build the cabin. Now, obviously, it works. A couple of runoff channels worked their way into it, digging it away. So, the only drawback I saw to that was that Ocotillo over there, that one right there, didn't like not getting any water. The moment the water came, boom, all the green leaves. It didn't have any green leaves on it before that. Um, uh, Ruger's on patrol. What are you looking for now, puppy? <laughs> looking for something to eat. Eat the machine. That's all he likes to do. Anyway, this is just an update showing what's going on around here and the weather and the batteries. Like I said, they hold up. I mean, that's it's 2 o'clock in the afternoon, like I said, it's been cloudy like this for several hours, and the refrigerator's been running all that time, and 12.5, I think, is pretty good. That's, uh, and right, right as I turned it on, there was no juice coming in at all to the panel. So I don't know why it jumped up to whatever it was when I first turned this on. Yep, nice piece saw here. Uh, loving it. Getting uh, real close to three months out here now. The end of July, about, I don't know what the, I have no idea what the date is. It's about the 20th? 18th? I have no idea. 17th? I said it's Friday, so. Alright. Uh, something else I did last week, I think, whenever, before all the storm clouds and stuff started, was I took the two batteries out of here, but I had this uh, number 8 or 8 gauge wire or whatever it is 
running up here to connect these batteries to the other four that were in the other compartment. I said, well, that's actually kind of stupid. I'd still like to have the own separate batteries up here for what they run, but whatever, it doesn't make any difference. So I just I kept these wires here, and I moved the batteries over there, and I just connected the wires up. These are the positive, positive to everything that runs in there, and that's the negative that everything that runs in there, and I got it all zip stripped up so it's not bouncing around or whatever. But that's what I did there. And then batteries up here, I got all six of them grouped up here together. So, and I got some bat some new battery cables ordered for in there. Uh, had ordered them on Amazon, but Amazon refuses to ship stuff unless it can send it via the United States Postal Service. You know, I can't get anything here on the Postal Service. They refuse to deliver anything to me, and I don't have a mailbox, so it's like I had to screw them. I, I end up having to order it through uh, the battery cables themselves. They have to come through Windy Nation. Um, but everything else I'm having to order from Walmart. I had a whole big old order that I ordered from Amazon. Put together, sent it in. Oh, everything's coming USPS. Just had to cancel the whole freaking thing. Anyway, I got all six of the batteries. When I get the new battery cables, I'm going to switch the batteries this way. So it'll take longer, but then the, the back ones won't be back so far. And I also spread them apart a little bit. So now they have a little bit of a gap in between them. I think they were too close together for when it got really hot. Um, and I do believe that spill down there is battery acid. So, um, But that's something else I did. And it's distilled water. We got four. <laughs> Naturally. <laughs> kind of batteries. All right. It's always something around here.